In the realm of the infinitesimally small, there exists a decoherent universe of atoms, each a miniature cosmos unto itself. At the centroid, a nucleus holds the quantum patterns of matter within its infinitesimal space. In this quantum universe, the atoms are the smallest volume imagined being an equilateral tetrahedron with Planck vector lengths. Consider the atom with a diameter of Planck length which is about 100 millionth of a centimeter. Yes, that's correct. The Planck length is indeed close to being 100 millionth of a centimeter and is often considered to be the smallest meaningful length due to its association with fundamental quantum constants. To grasp the scale of one might imagine a baseball blown up to the size of the Earth. In this analogy, a baseball is the size of the Earth and an atom in the baseball would be the size of a ping pong ball. Fun to imagine. Yet even this comparison falls short in capturing the true essence of an atom scale. To truly fathom its diminutive nature, one would need to envision expanding the ping pong size atom to the size of the Las Vegas sphere, which is the largest sphere on Earth. In this vision, the nucleus, the mysterious centroid of the atom, would shrink to the size of a grain of salt within the vast expanse of the sphere, creating atomic mass. Within the vast Las Vegas sphere, the nucleus would be imperceptible to the naked eye. Meanwhile, the electrons, mere specks of dust in comparison to the nucleus grain of salt, helix around the nucleus creating atomic structure. In this fantastical world of atoms and their microscopic dance, the nucleus and electrons exist in a delicate balance in cosmic harmony. Eastern metaphysic yin and yang played out on a scale beyond human perception, a testament to the boundless wonders of the infinitesimally small.